Hello and welcome to our first video on how to register a domain name. So the website that we'll be using is hover.com. So let's start off by searching for a domain name. So over here, I'm going to search for anything to do with Mac. So I'm going to click on search. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to get a list of options of domains which I can choose. So first of all, we can see that uh, Mac.com is taken because it's not on the list. So just to show you, I will just add it here and click search. So if you search for a specific domain, you're able to see if it's taken. So right now I can see that it's taken and it says here, make an offer. Now, sometimes uh, companies or individuals will buy a domain, keep it in order to sell it for much, much more. So this is the case right here. So anyway, I'm not going to buy that because in most cases that price is inflated or it's just too much for you to uh, use it as a starting point. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll down and show you the other options that our new domain extensions have. So if I scroll all the way down here, we can see that if your company is, say, for example, an engineering company called Mac Engineering, you can actually buy a domain called Mac dot engineering. And we can see here it's only $39 per year. Again, if you scroll down here, Let's say uh, you want to build a foundation. It could be Mac.foundation. And you can see if it's a church, it could be Mac.church. And you can see these domains are quite easy to buy. And then if you scroll down here, we can see that these domains are to do with um, categories. So let's say, for example, your company is to do with, uh, say, audio and video. You can just go straight and take a look at this section for audio and video. So once you've found your domain, all you need to do is to click on it. Like for example, Mac.fm, I'll click on it to add it to the cart and then scroll all the way up here. And we can see here that it's in the cart. So if I click proceed to checkout or proceed to cart, that'll be the next step. So here we can choose how many years we need to register this domain. Um, I normally recommend two years, but you know, one year is fine. So what happens is if when you sign up for one year, um, after the uh, registration pro, I mean, during the registration process, you are going to need to add your email address. This is where you get your reminders that your domain name needs to be renewed. Okay, so I'm gonna click on checkout. So this is where now you get to register for your account if this is your first time. So you just add your first name, last name, email address, and then username and password. Now make sure you keep this information safe because this is the information you're going to need when you log into your Hover account or even when you need to renew your domain name. So just make sure it's in the right place. And also your email address, just keep an eye on it and make sure you type in the right email address because if you uh, type the wrong email address, all this information for the confirmation will be sent to a wrong place. So you don't want to do that. And um, again, you know, the billing information is quite straightforward. They is uh, uh, all the options of uh, paying online. You have PayPal, you have credit card or uh, debit card, and also Apple Pay. So it's quite easy to uh, to pay. Now, I already have a an account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my account and show you how things look when you've logged in. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, click on sign in. So I'm going to enter my username and my password. So this is how things look like when you log in. So this is my client's account. That's why I'm going to be blurring all this information here. So what you want to do when you've bought your domain name is to add the name servers. So this is where you find your name servers. If you can't find it here, all you have to do is to come to your account, click on domains, and this will give you a list of all your domains. And right now I only have one. So all I have to do now is to come here to where it says name servers, click on edit. So the name servers we're going to need here are the names, name servers for our hosting company, which is in motion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste my name, my first name server here and my second name server. Now the second one here needs to be uh, ns2.inmotionhosting.com. So once you've done this process, click on save name servers. Now this takes a while to propagate and uh, update, so you just have to be patient with that. But in my experience, this has taken me about two hours for this to work 
um, efficiently. So, so now that we have our name servers in place, we have our domain name, the next stage now is to go in and register for our hosting. So in the next video, I'll be showing you how to register for your hosting account.